Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the price and more information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2002 Chinook Destiny with 80,797 miles. All righty, folks, here we are inside of this 2002 Chinook Destiny. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All these RVs go through the same inspection and refurbishment process. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. Got hard surface flooring throughout, makes it easier to keep clean in here. Got about 76 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach, about 73 and a half inches here at the air conditioner. This runs on your AC power, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. You're gonna use the knobs right there on the unit itself to turn that on and off. Got a propane furnace that functions through the thermostat over here. Got dual fantastic fans in here. These are gonna act like an attic fan or exhaust fans at night. Turn those on, runs off DC power, so your coach battery. These seats do swivel. So you can swivel these to get them how you'd like. Get some storage beneath. It's a furnace duct right there. This table pulls up and out, like so. So you can move these chairs around a little bit until you get the positioning you'd like. Got a screen window on this portion over here. Got pull down shades here. You got a little screw hole there and two over here. So four screw holes there on that valance. Got AC power here. This is for the little accent lights. Looks like only one of them still burning still on this side. This is a built-in tuner. It also connects to the TV over here. This is a built-in DVD player. So the sound will play through here, through the speakers, for the TV, or through the, for the tuner, if you're listening to music. This would have been where the VCR would have been originally. Our guys put in this DC charging station here with two USB plug-ins. This is a solar controller for the solar panel that's on the roof. Then check this out while we're up here. Nice big storage over top. Got our manuals in the bag there. There's another speaker over here. There's a couple more screw holes here in the bottom of this cabinet where something would have been mounted at one time. Where the factory Chinook clock would have been. It's no longer with this unit. Got our TV antenna crank over there. You do not want to drive around with that TV antenna up. Got a window with a screen portion over here. Pull these blinds down for privacy. Got AC power, DC power, switch for the little accent lights here. Got AC power back over here in the kitchen area. This is a power sofa, so you're gonna push this button here. It's gonna flatten our sofa out and create a bed. I'm gonna drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 75 inches north-south or front to back and 49 inches east-west or side to side. The fresh water tank, water pump, and additional storage are located beneath the jackknife sofa. There are three seat belts beneath the sofa, so including the driver and passenger seats, there are a total of five seat belts in this RV. There are some blemishes here on the dinette. Moving now towards the center of the coach. Got our microwave. This runs on AC power, so our short power plug-in or our generator. Levels test for our black, gray, fresh, LP, and coach battery. These are notoriously finicky, so don't always trust these. Switch to activate that. Water pump on off switch. This will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank that runs on DC. Hood light and fan. Got Corian countertops. Three burner propane cooktop. Use the switches or the knobs there on the front to use that. Storage beneath. Our 
furnace ducting. This has been converted to a 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator. So this is a DC compressor driven fridge freezer. This will cool down quicker than your traditional absorption style refrigerator. DC meaning your coach battery. Got DC power here, water heater on off. That ignites itself, runs on propane. Cut more screw holes over there and one down here. Lots of counter space here. Corian counters. Dual basin sink. Got the factory Chinook Coca Cola bottle opener. Noxious gas detector down there. Got our fuse panel. This has our AC breakers and our DC fuses. This is a physical representation of your AC and DC power systems here. Everything's labeled. Chinook drawers. A drawer up top here and a countertop extension. Little towel bar there. You know, three sliding drawers here. I love how everything says Chinook in the drawers. So all three of those slide out. Three more drawers below. A furnace duct there down by the ground. Got AC power there by the entry. Got a bar here to help you get up and in. Got a screen door. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Little coat hook here. Fire extinguisher. Another noxious gas detector. Generator start stop switch. This is an Onan 4K gas generator. It's fresh service, fresh oil changed by our certified Onan techs. The previous owner upgraded this to a newer Onan generator, so the hour meter is not accurate. Light switches. Nice big closet here. Got a rod there to hang your goodies. Got our awning crank and center rafter there on the left. Head into the bathroom here. Got an exhaust fan overhead. So this is a wet bath. I think everything's going to happen in this one room. This is a fiberglass wet dry shower stall. Get your shower there. You pull this curtain around you to help contain the water. Everything's going to happen right in here, though. One of the benefits of the Destiny over the Premier or the Concourse in the Chinook is that you get this slightly larger bathroom. A little medicine cabinet here. Go ahead and get in here and shut the door. It's really nice in here. This is a good size wet bath for a motorhome this size. Being 6'3", about 240, I feel very comfortable in here. Enough room to turn around and do what you need to do. Here we are standing in the rear of the RV. What do chickens serve at birthday parties? Coop cakes. A couple more little screw holes right here. Got this curtain here you can pull across for privacy. So we got a nice Chinook here. It's gone through our full inspection refurbishment process here at Coon Truck and RV. We always tell people we are not perfect, but if anything is not what we said it was, we will do what we can to make it right. We're going to go through a full demo with you before you leave, answer any questions you may have. We're not pushy. We want to make sure you're getting the RV that's right for you when it's right for you. I'm going to call this one an 8.5 out of 10. Got some screw holes here and there. Nothing that affects the fun or usability of this RV. Strictly cosmetic stuff. Got the bones there that you know and love from Chinook. The molded fiberglass exterior. Very high quality solid wood interior. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV. The best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power heated mirrors, tilt, cruise, USB, and auxiliary in on the radio. Nice clean upholstery. A little glove box here. Got some sensors over here. They'll tell you what doors are open on the exterior of the Chinook. These are for our driving lights. Vehicle boost start. This will jump start you from the coach batteries should you run the engine battery dead. 
Coach battery on off. This will disconnect the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. Also disconnects the charging system to those coach batteries, which are the alternator while you drive, the shore power plug-in or your generator. Not seeing any signs of smoking in this one. No funny smells, no burns, stains, no tears. Cigarette lighter's unused, so while it's tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2002 Chinook Destiny. The Chinook measures 23 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. We've got dual rear wheels and the tires have 2521 date codes. This Chinook is built on a Chevy 3500 Express chassis with an 8.1 liter V8 engine with 80,797 miles. Got lots of shine left on this exterior. Got that Chinook quality you know and love. No seams on the molded fiberglass exterior. Got our air conditioner up top. Got a solar panel here. It's the top of the refrigerator. Got lots of shine on the exterior of this unit. These are for the awning legs. I prefer to run the awning legs directly to the ground. That way those can't get broken and scratch up the side of the RV if somebody walks through there carelessly at night. Got two coach batteries. Got some storage there in the drawer. A little light there under the awning. Got our generator. This is an Onan 4K generator. This is a newer generator that was put in by the previous owner. Got our furnace exhaust. Back of the refrigerator. It's the engine exhaust there. Got a ladder for rooftop access. This power step will come out more when you open the door. Got a hitch down here. You'll have to use a hitch extender to use that. Got a button here to raise and lower the spare tire. AC power, DC power. You'll get better sound from a Bluetooth speaker if you take that along with you than you will from these. A little light there. Coming around to the driver's side. Got our sewer dump. Got our black on the left and our gray over here. You're gonna do the black first and the gray is gonna rinse that clean. Back of the water heater. This is a black tank flush. Got our city water in. Fill for the onboard fresh water tank. Outside shower, this is nice for kids, pets, going to the beach. Keep the mess out of the RV. Got our short power cord in there that's connected to the RV. Cable TV and phone jack. A closer look at the side here. Real good looking Chinook. Got the fill for the engine and the generator. The generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strain yourself. Nice brick drawer here. Got room for all your goodies. Got another coax coming in there. So in all in all, we got a really nice looking Chinook Destiny here. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Mm -hmm.